Hi guys. Yummy sacks. Whatever you put inside the sack is what you're actually going to get out. It's garbage in, garbage out. There are many ways to feed your sacks. Organic, inorganic. And for especially the organic one, you can put your organic manure either at the bottom, within the sack, that is with the soil, or on top. So any one you use, you can actually even use combination. But the focus of today's video is the use of organic manure. The commonest one in our environment is poultry manure and is very, very rich. Question many people ask, how much of organic manure should I put or mix with my soil? That is the focus of this experiment. So I want you to sit back because there are different modalities that we are going to use to incorporate this manure inside our soil. And we are going to see what the outcome will be. Don't go away. So the major question we should be asking ourselves, how much of poultry manure, or if you are using um, cow dung or any other manure, how much of organic manure should we mix with our soil that will really give us good yield? Should everything be manure? Or should we not just put manure at all? We are going to look at the various uh, composition because if you look at this manure, sometimes difficult to get and can be very expensive. This is just a sack of manure. In certain quarters, you can spend as much as 500 naira getting only this one sack. And that is not, uh, it's not uh, easy in terms of cost of production. So it is very important we know how to utilize this. So we are going to set up this experiment and it's going to be in these forms. This is the organic manure here. And this is soil here. We are going to be taking different measurements. In this case, we are going to be looking at in percentages. What percentage should be the optimum to a very large extent? The first one we are going to do is 25%. We are going to get 25%. I mean, the, the sack that contains 25%. They will move to the next and then the next. So how do we measure this 25%? Now, what we are going to do is this. We are going to get something that we are going to be using for the measurement. Now, the easiest thing around me here is to get a wheelbarrow. Now, I'll get a wheelbarrow. Okay. All right. This is my wheelbarrow. If I get one, okay, I'll, 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 I'm going to take a level of wheelbarrow for manure. And I'm going to get three levels of soil. Which means at the end of it all, we're going to be having one wheelbarrow inside three wheelbarrows of soil. If we mix everything together for the mathematicians, you know that that will not be one wheelbarrow of poultry dropping over the total, which is four wheelbarrows now of them combined. So one all over three plus one, that is one all over four. So one over four means the concentration of manure in this arrangement will be 25%. That is exactly what we are going to do now. When we do that, we load that one in the sack. We move over to the next, all right? But right now, I'm going to call in my staff to help me with the measurement. I will take it to where we are going to mix and load our sack. That will be set up one. All right, guys. I've been able to... This is a wheelbarrow level. Just a level of poultry manure. This is one wheelbarrow. This is the way I want to measure it. You can choose to measure it whichever way. So far, the principle remains the same. Now, this volume, I'll take it to where I intend to put my sacks. Say here. All 
all right so the next thing to do will be to take that same measurement of soil that same measurement of soil the same level of soil but there will be three i'll mix them with that pottery manure everything mixed together very well it means that the amount of pottery manure that will be in that whole stuff is 25 percent that is the first setup so i'm going to get that now i will get my staff to do this so this is the same level of soil my wheelbarrow i'm going to take this one so this is where the manure is i hope okay okay so that's one we are going to get two more to add to that then we we'll miss properly So guys, we have succeeded in loading our, our sack. This is 25%. So with the help of my very good staff, we are trying to set up the next um, experimental group. This next experimental group is the 50% pottery manure. And how do we intend to achieve that? We are going to have two wheelbarrow of pottery manure, just the way we did the other time. This is, but this one is two wheelbarrow of pottery manure. Then this time around, two wheelbarrow of soy you understand that is two all over the total which is four that's exactly 50 percent so we are going to do that and also load four sacks now that will be experiment group two then experiment group three will now be since we are using 25 percent of course uh 50 percent it will be good for us to do a group where we don't even have any poultry manure we just use only soil so that will be the third group and more like that's the control group because if that one is going to do very well like any other one so there will be no need to even be mixing poultry manure with the soil that's what that means that's what that means but if these ones are going to do better than the soil it means there is a need for us to do that if i have the opportunity i can even extend and extend and extend i can even get up to oh, 75 percent of <laughs> of poultry manure that's if uh, we so choose but at least for now this is the 50 percent that we are doing another thing i want to make us to understand in this experiment in order to try as much as possible to remove factors that would you know alter our experiment what we want to do is that we are going to choose the same weight to a very large extent of uh, yam, basically all the CDMs, they, they will be average of the same weight. I've done the measurement. This is just about uh, 100. They are usually between 100 to 110. You know, so those are the the yams I'm going to be using for this experiment. So at the end of it all, we are going to actually check is it good to use 25 percent or 50 percent we're going to be looking at the sizes that's one not just the sizes what about the tuba quality will the poultry manure have any harmful effect on the tuba will the tubas be fine will they do very well after all this experiment we'll be able to answer to a very large extent some of these questions so I want you to stay with us because this is the part one of this study. I'm going to be giving us updates on this. How do we miss poultry manure? What amount should we use? 
if you want you can even extend to 75 percent okay more of poultry manure and less of soil that's yeah, that's to the extreme so please follow us for those of us that have been thanking us thank you so much you have been sending us thanks through our thank you button to encourage us to do more of these researches to answer plenty research questions so guys this is the finished work so these four sacks they are the 25 percent this one 50 percent of poultry manure now interestingly i had the opportunity of adding another group which uh, is 75 percent i thought i would be able to do this but actually had to now add this 75 percent and 75 percent you get it by uh, using three wheelbarrow level of poultry dropping to one wheelbarrow level of of normal soil so that's how i got this 75 percent so we just have only 25 percent of soil here and now this is the control group this control group has no poultry dropping this is just pure top soil so at the end of it all we have four setup kind of the 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent poultry dropping and eventually zero percent that is the control group so at the end of it all we are going to get the outcome and so that is what this whole experiment is all about 